Good morning everyone and welcome to another vlog. Typically I am a freshman at Kent State University studying fashion merchandising, doing college week in my life, but as most of you know, the coronavirus has taken over and it has changed everyone's plans. So I am home at my house in Maryland and I am supposed to be doing online school for the next five weeks basically to finish off my freshman year. I'm not exactly sure how it's going to go. I'm kind of nervous since I already work about 30 hours a week online for my blog and YouTube and Style by McKen stuff. So we will see how this goes. I'm not exactly sure if I'm going to be doing weekly vlogs daily every few days now that it's basically a five month summer for me. So we will see. But either way, it is Sunday. It is 1 p.m. I have spent the majority of the morning trying to get last week's weekly wrap up which is a week in my life plus outfit of the days it's where I link all my blog posts and outfits and such um, I was busy getting that up this morning as well as the college week in my life my last one at school um, trying to get that up this morning so it's now one o'clock I just ate lunch and now I am dressed I'm wearing the cutest little tie-dye set from boohoo and I just packed up my hunter bag full of Five different outfits. I'm going to shoot three Boohoo jogger sets and then three Shein outfit ideas for the spring with the help of my dad. Now that I'm home, my family is back to being dragged around by me. So I'm going to grab this stuff and we are about to head out. See, I'm sitting in the back seat now because I was packing up my bag after we just shot. We were able to shoot six outfits in 30 minutes, which is really good timing. And it's because sweatpants are always really easy and fast to shoot. Um, we just found a spot in Mount Airy and got them all done in one parking lot, which is awesome. And now we are headed home. Since home, everyone, say hey. Yes. Sup, everyone. Your life is so We're simple. all back together, our family of four. Come here, guys. Let's take a family we second. Have a family of five. A family That's of four. That's too close. Social distancing. <laughs> <laughs> a foot apart. Say cheese for the thumbnail! Oh. Anywho, we're practicing social distancing. We just spent 30 Guys, minutes talking what? about Don't if the world me. was to end and we were all to die, how we would all want to be gone. Undecided yet. Considering going to science, not exactly sure yet. Anyways, it's dinner time in the Morgan household and unfortunately... Okay, guys, in, in all seriousness, yeah, we gave some, up french fries yes, for Lent. Yes, I like milk, Dad. And it's really hard to give up french fries for Lent when you know that... Whoa. That's all you want to eat. It's all you want to eat <laughs> in the world, you know. So anyways, we're, we're eating tater tots because... Not because we they're can't. not really french fries, which makes me mad because I just gave up tater tots then for four weeks at school. For three weeks, however long it's been since Ash Wednesday. Well, explain that Mom and Madison just got in from West Virginia. They just got in from West Virginia, which so, has no relevance to us eating tater tots because we've never eaten this meal without tater tots. But I know, but you guys are responsible for cooking, not Mom. We were responsible for cooking, and we're having um, bacon cheddar chicken sandwiches. This is one of my favorite meals. Thank you, Dad. This is Dad's cooking. I'm gonna go get one of my Chick-fil-A sauces that Madison brought home. Okay, bon appetit everyone. No more dining hall food for good. Okay, came down to the baseball field to see what's happening, but Nick's here hitting. I thought that we were meant to be. You took my heart in my happy place. We actually got this new thing here guys, so now not everyone can get into the dugout and it's kind of annoying. We are at the grocery store now, getting vegetables like mom said, and there's very few vegetables. So we got one bag of green beans, ice cream, and a pineapple because I decided that sounded good. Let's come over here. We feel like we need to get something healthy. I really want berries, but strawberries are usually pretty expensive this time of year. Mom wants lettuce and there is literally no lettuce to be found in this store right now. Everyone, since I don't have clothes coming, everyone, all these all these YouTubers love grocery hauls to show everyone they're healthy eating. So let's show you. I got two things of strawberries. I got a pineapple. Got lettuce. <laughs> Why did you buy more eggs? I already had. Because I eat a lot of eggs now. I got green beans. There was only three bags. This is the one that looked the best. <laughs> I got another <laughs> carton of eggs. Now, Mom, I just want you to know that I was trying to be good and buy 18 and eggs then, for $3, and she wanted to buy 12 for 2 And then we got these ice cream cones. And then this is where Waffle it gets bad. Cones. We bought ice cream cones. And then we got two Tillamock ice creams. 
Because <laughs> it was two for eight. This is the kind Madison likes. And then we got this cookie dough. Cookie dough. I her, because because I really want the birthday cake. Wanted the birthday cake. And she was like, mom no, would be mad. mom will let us get because it. Because mom would be mad if you came home with cookie dough and birthday cake. Now eating expensive is healthy. <laughs> or, I mean, I mean, eating <laughs> healthy is expensive, everyone. Eating <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, okay. and this is cookie dough, but there's no cookie dough chunks in it, and I've never been so disappointed. But it still tastes good. The, my secret to a good ice cream cone is to put. Um, What's that stuff called? Chocolate syrup in the bottom of the cone. That way when you get to the bottom, it tastes good. Hi guys. I have not been doing anything today, it feels like. I'm so bad at being unproductive. It's not even funny. I just feel guilty the whole time. But, anywho. Things I've done since we last chatted. I watched the latest episode of Good Girls. This was the first time I've watched it like live on TV. I thought today's episode was really boring. Um, but I watched that. I typed half of tomorrow's blog post, which is going to be the cute jogger sets that I shot earlier today from Boohoo. This being one of them. So cozy. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Um, and I posted my Instagram picture and then I kind of like typed out a schedule for the next week. I think we're going to go move me out of school on Tuesday because they announced earlier that we only have until the 20th to move out because one of the maintenance workers at Kent is in testing for the coronavirus because he was in contact with someone who has it so he's being tested right now so they were like well he was working in all these different residence halls and stuff so now it's mandatory to move out by the 20th which is literally on Friday so they are not giving people much time I feel so bad for the people who live far away or have plane tickets like stuff like that because it sucks um, but we're gonna go on Tuesday Wednesday is my mom's birthday and then Monday is Connor's birthday. Not tomorrow, Monday, the following Monday. So I know it will be like a busy week. Um, restaurants and stuff like that are starting to like close and say you can only pick up food. And other counties have set curfews and stuff. And this is just like such a weird time to be alive. Like I totally get like distancing yourself from people and like literally not leaving your house. But at the same time, it's like, oh my God, this is awful like it's so boring but you know what we're gonna get through it i have a lot of schoolwork this week just because i do have two exams so my goal is to just really push through this week and then hopefully the next few weeks like won't be as bad my spring break is technically next week too so i know i'll have time to chill then but that's that i'm sure i'll see connor and lily some point later this week um and just some of my other college friends, if I can't see them, just call them and catch up with them. So, yeah, that is that, everyone. I am going to sign off for the night. I have to babysit tomorrow morning at 9.30 a.m. So, it's time for me to shower and go to bed. morning everyone it is Monday morning and today is supposed to be the first week of online instruction for me at Kent State my, I know that some schools have off the week before their spring break like my sister has off this week I do not I actually only have one class on Mondays and we don't have like an online lecture to view so I don't have to tune into any class today it's basically just like my typical Monday at school where I have off I am about to leave to babysit it's 9 15 and I'm babysitting at 9 30 so this is what I'm wearing today I am wearing a jogger set shocker this is from boohoo it's like a peachy cream color and then I have on a white short sleeve crop top from boohoo as well I also have on earrings from Shein and then I have on my Apple Watch and I have on these sneakers from off the beaten track They're like little zebra sneakers. I thought they would look cuter with this They're not like my favorite shoe with it, but I'm actually wearing this because These sneakers are new and as soon as I'm done babysitting I need to go to Bed Bath & Beyond because I need to pick stuff up For a collaboration with them that I have scheduled for later this month And I need to take pictures in these off the beaten track shoes for 
next week because I have to upload these to Instagram. So that is the plan. That's why I have them on. I'm just going to do another little jogger set. I've been posting tons of them on my Instagram and they've been getting such good feedback. So this is what I'm wearing today. It's probably what I'll be wearing a lot of days that I have online classes. Just a sweatsuit. But anywho, this is just like absolute madness. And honestly, I'm just trying to go about my day-to-day -day life. I'm really hoping that I will still be able to like keep up with not only vlogging, I feel like vlogging will, the only reason I wouldn't keep up with it is because it's getting boring and like there's nothing to show you that I'm doing. But I'm hoping this doesn't change my vlog schedule too much and, but it's definitely going to because the people who like ship out packages and stuff, like they're not working, we might not be able to leave the house, like, so we will see. I will keep you guys as updated as possible, obviously. Um, but as of right now, I'm headed to babysit. I also need to upload a blog post today, and I made a to-do list yesterday of things that need to get done today. I have some schoolwork that I'm going to try and knock out today, but yeah, that's that. I'm about to grab something to eat for breakfast, and then I will be on my merry way this morning. Hey folks, babysitting was good, and now we're at Bed Bath & Beyond. I have a collaboration with them at the end of the month, so we came for me to pick up a couple of things. I was in, hoping to find a comforter or sheets for next year. Griffith really wants light pink for our dorm. I mean for our room next year and I couldn't find anything here so I'm gonna have to look online and have it shipped but it's really dead in here we've seen like one other person since all stores are about to close here in Maryland um, but mom is getting Madison a new bed skirt and I was gonna get one but my sheets are off-white and all they had here was white as far as ruffled bed skirts go and I really want ruffled so all right, you're leaving empty-handed we are now in DSW because mom's birthday is on Wednesday and she wants to spend her birthday money um, at DSW before all the stores you know close so here's my outfit in the mirror my sweatpants are kind of big as you can tell but cozy I do not need any shoes because I have more shoes than anyone in the whole freaking world right Madison tell them what you're wearing Madison for those of you who don't know, who are new, this is my twin sister. We look a lot alike, as you can tell. Okay, what are you wearing? Um, Where are your glasses from? Not discount Warby, glasses? Warby, Warby Parker. Parker. Okay. In the Style Baker. Style Baker at Madison is in Delta Zeta, Marshall University, established 1902. From her big from leggings, big mine. Although I- We are Yogalicious with pockets. Are they Lux or Nude Tech? Let me feel them. Um, I'm not. <laughs> they are new tech. And she's wearing Nike sneakers. What the heck is up, you guys? Um, it's me. I am alive. In fact, it's 634. I have a feeling I'll be doing a lot of this during the vlogs over the next few weeks where you just don't hear from me for like hours at a time. But you don't really know the difference because it comes one second after the last time I talked. But anywho, I have been doing stuff. So, I think the last we chatted, I was at DSW, and then I came home, and Madison and I went to go pick up our car from inspection. So, we picked the car up, and then we went to a church near us because it has a really cute, like, white back wall that I could take a few pictures on because I needed to shoot those off the beaten track sneakers that I was wearing earlier that I told you guys this morning I needed to take photos in. Um, they're really, really cute. This is their Allstead sneaker. Off the beaten track shoes are the absolute best. They are super expensive, not super expensive, but they're, for what I share, they are pretty expensive. Like they are upwards of $100 or more, but they are so worth it. Literally, when I was at school, they were like the only thing my foot could handle, especially first semester when I was walking at least five miles a day second semester my classes were all pretty close but first semester literally i could not wear anything else to class without coming home with the worst friction blisters of my life but that's besides the point i took pictures in that and then i came home and i've been doing homework since we got home at about four and it's 6 30 now so i'm gonna show you what i did actually 
I'm in Greek Achievement, which is one of my online classes. Obviously, all my on classes are online now, but I was taking Greek Achievement online as it is. I'm going to kind of actually show you guys how it's set up. So, we use Blackboard, not Canvas at Kent, and basically, our professor has things split up into four different modules. You can see one was January 13th through the 13th. It's basically like every four weeks, you're in a new module. So, this week... Once you, you open the module, and then you'll have, it's split up by weeks. So they open on Sundays and are due Thursdays. I typically do them the first day that they're open. And when you click into the week, if it ever loads, um, it will show you the things you have to do. So you have to read these different articles, you have to watch these videos, and then you have assignments to complete. So you scroll down and you see what you have to complete. So basically, you have three quizzes every single week, and then... Every few weeks, you have a writing assignment. There's five writing assignments throughout the entire semester. I would really recommend taking this class because you could literally do it all in a week. You don't have to take it like each week because all the modules are open from the very start. And this class is super easy, um, especially for an online course. So I basically went ahead and did... The quizzes for this week, I wrote the paper for this week. All the papers are just 400 words. They're kind of tricky to write, especially if you don't read super closely with the articles, but they're still manageable. And then I went ahead and I did every single module for the rest of the semester, with the exception of the fifth and final paper, just because the um articles that we were supposed to cite in our paper were no longer available like the person who put them on the internet took them down so it was saying like error page not found so I did everything but that paper for that class and honestly I have over a month to complete it because school doesn't technically get out like that final module isn't due until like May 5th I think so I'm feeling so glad that I got that online course out of the way I'm thinking about doing the same thing for my entrepreneurship class which is is my second online course and that class works a little bit differently like sometimes you can access all the powerpoints right away like each week you have a powerpoint you have to watch a video and then you either have a quiz or you have a discussion board the discussion boards are open right away but the quizzes don't open until like the week that module is technically due so you can only work so far ahead i am considering just sitting down and taking all the notes the final exam is open note and so you can use your notes obviously so i'm thinking about doing that one of these days this week but anyhow I, so i finished greek achievement which was awesome with the exception of that thing i just emailed my professor and said hey just so you know these aren't ready and then i started working on art history because i have an art history exam that opens on Wednesday and it closes the 30th. So I can take it any time in between then. I'm honestly hoping I can take it this week. However, I do need to prepare for it because I really need to do well on this. So he actually gives us a study guide. I am in the Renaissance art history and basically he gives you all these paintings that you need to know. So this is all the paintings, it's kind of a lot. And then these are terms and concepts that you need to know which is, it's a lot of terms and concepts this year. I mean, this essay, oh my god, I cannot speak. It is a lot of terms and concepts this exam. And then he gives you three different essay, like, uh, prompts. And on the exam, you will, ha you will have one of these prompts as the essay. So I haven't even started with this. Honestly, what I just did was I went and found pictures for all of the paintings that we have to know. And I put them in a Word document. And then I print the Word document. I cut out the images and I put them onto flashcards. And then that's how I start memorizing the paintings, the date, the time period, the medium and the significance of that painting that is how i studied for my art history course in high school and it is how i passed the class it's how i memorized and how i did really well in it so naturally that's like what i've been doing for this class it's what i did for the last exam and i think it's really helpful to just like see with the images so i just spent the last like 30 minutes finding those images and now i just printed them and i'm about to you know do what i just said and do that and then the concepts like take forever to make flashcards for, but flashcards is like the easiest thing for me. It's really how I can focus. So I think I might do the flashcards on Quizlet for the concepts and just the paintings on actual flashcards, but 
we will see we will see I am excited and nervous and curious to see how my exams will go online next week but anywho just wanting to know I haven't been doing nothing I ha am however working from my bed which I don't usually do usually I work at the kitchen table but my mom is making dinner right now and I do not work well with any kind of sound unless it's like copying notes off a of PowerPoint I work in silence because it's what works for me and it helps keep me focused I know everyone's different but as all of you are trying to navigate online classes if you find yourself not being productive you need to sit in an uncomfortable chair that way you are motivated to do the work that way you can get up and out of the uncomfortable chair and you need to be in silence and minimize all distractions so for me that means leaving my phone over there which is what I usually do and I sit with my computer however if I do work in bed I sit against this wall I don't like lay down and work unless it's like a blog post but even then I hardly ever do that so I've just been sitting here doing work. Um, and you know, that's the gist. This is the new normal. Scrumptious. Tonight's dinner, everyone. Eating a vegetable salad in orzo, made by yours truly. You're the best mom. I am the best mom. <laughs> hey everyone, giving you a tutorial on how to make an ice cream cone salad because <laughs> not even hungry, just bored. Um, so I figured I'd give, join you a little, figured we'd give you a little how-to. So first we're going to start with the Keebler waffle cones, 12 counts. Um, Madison likes the waffle cones, not the sugar cones. These the are, sugar cones are gross. These are 60 calories per, um, per cone if you are worried about gaining weight during your quarantine. You I, will. however, <laughs> am not. Um, because the only thing that keeps me entertained even in the slightest bit is eating so <laughs> <laughs> So yes step one is get the cones step two pour Hershey's chocolate syrup into the bottom um, Until you realize that your cone sucks and has a hole in the bottom. So now you can't so get it So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put it right back in the box <laughs> because Frankly, the only, Save person for another day. <laughs> the only person who actually eats these cones is me. Madison hardly ever eats them, so. That is false. I don't eat the So I, cones. okay, that's good. Okay, so you do, I put just a little bit of chocolate in it, and Madison puts sprinkles. I'm not a big sprinkle. I put chocolate, and then I fill it with sprinkles. Okay, um, then these we ones get, are just chocolate. Then we get the Tillamook chocolatey chip, <laughs> chocolatey <laughs> chip <laughs> cookie dough ice cream. And I just want to say I do not rate this very high because yesterday I ate a whole entire ice cream cone and didn't have a single. Yes, you read, heard that right. I did. Not a single. Whoa! And you gotta stop using a spoon because you break the cone yeah. every time. Not a single. Um, what do you call it? Dabble bit of cookie dough. Oh god, my camera's about to die. Okay, we gotta hurry this up. So I'm gonna alternate flavors today since I wasn't super impressed with the cookie dough. Which means we're gonna go in with a little bit of Tillamook mudslide ice cream, which is smooth chocolate ice cream with a ribbon of rich fudge and chocolate chips. <laughs> then we're just gonna get a little bit of this influence. <laughs> it's gonna play we're just gonna add this right on top, folks. <laughs> and the reason I like eating ice cream cones actually is because I eat about a third of the ice cream I would normally eat if I. Whoa! <laughs> okay, look at your. All right, everyone. 5:55 a.m. Let's freaking do this. Time to move out of college. Hello, folks. I haven't updated you at all since being in the car, but um, we are in Kent, Ohio now, five minutes away from my dorm. And I basically slept for the first three hours of the car ride, and then I just edited one Shein haul, and now I'm in the process of editing a bikini haul for them. So didn't finish that, but that's fine because I have the car ride home too. Dad is the only person with me moving out. Say hello. Don't miss your exit this time. Hello. <laughs> um, it's just the two of us moving out today. Um, we chose Tuesday because we couldn't go yesterday, and tomorrow's our mom's well, my mom's birthday, and Thursday and Friday it was supposed to rain, and today was supposed to be the nicest day, and it's literally rained pretty much the whole car ride which stinks, um, so let's hope it stops raining when we bring all this crap to the car, but the back is empty with the exception of boxes and bags that I'm going to obviously pack stuff up in. Luckily, a majority of my stuff I took home 
with Corinne when we came home on Friday. Um, that was like all my clothes and stuff. Now it's just like the actual stuff in my room. So this should be fun. I'll try my best to vlog. I know when I moved in, I never vlogged the moving in process just because I forgot about it. So I'm gonna try not to forget today. My last vlog on campus for a really, really long time. Olivia and Lauren's trap house is dead. Gone but not forgotten. Ah, back like we never left, folks. Okay. All right, friends, it's time to start taking the room apart. All right, we've been here for two hours. We got here at 10.30 and it's 12.30 on the dot now and this is the progress we have made. Dad, how are you feeling? <laughs> I'm still overwhelmed by the amount of stuff. I had a lot of stuff. Guys, it's a good thing I came home with Corinne and didn't just like wait for my parents to come and get me. My bed is officially unlofted. This is basically what your room comes like for those of you who are wondering the dresser and you get a dresser and a second um what is this thing called whatever that thing is called that i can't think of right now it's not a bookshelf it's called something anywho it comes like this but we decided to loft it because look at how weird it looks when it's on the ground it takes up so much space if you have it all but um that's that the only things we have left in here are my paintings and these clothes that i wish i didn't have here and my hangers and then I will be saying goodbye to the worst wardrobe ever um, the wardrobe life was not for me first and last time I'll ever have to do that but it's coming to a close here in 2 218 216 don't even know what room number I am okay everyone it's the end of an era that's so sad one last load of stuff going down too Can you carry this by chance? Goodbye. Alright, goodbye for good this time, Kent. The car is pretty stuffed, everybody. <laughs> Probably couldn't fit much more in here. But, um, you know, hopefully we can find a place for this at home. <laughs> Dad and I made it home. We did not unpack the car because that was just too tough of a battle today after that day. So now we are sitting down for dinner. Um, we are having tacos because it's Tuesday, right? And I got mango salsa. Mom wanted me to tell you that she's the best mom ever because she got me mango salsa. And we got yellow rice, corn, and black beans. Hey, everyone. I'm with my second mama. Say hi to your father. Hi. Um, I'm here because I needed a book and human contact after a long day. So the definite book i'm taking is the rescue by nicholas sparks what? because connor shut up i really wanted a nicholas sparks book and there's several other book options out here i'm still debating on which one to take i'm thinking of either taking this one or house rules by jody but i know that i read this over the summer the island by ellen hildebrand and i really liked it and i know that you have something else from her over here so i'm gonna look you do so I'm gonna look at the selections over here and make sure there's nothing better because I really want to read a beachy sappy Everyone, one. It is 11:15 on Wednesday morning, and I spent the morning getting my blog post up, which was spring trends with Shein. I also got a YouTube video up, which was a haul with Shein, and then I have been running around like a chicken with my head cut off. Like I literally feel like I cannot complete any task because. 
one task can't be done if that makes sense so like I woke up and was like okay I want to strip my bed and wash my sheets well then I was like but with the rest of my stuff um like when I wash those I should wash my sheets that are from school so then I unpacked the car and got those things so then I washed my sheets well now all this stuff from the car is downstairs and I need to find a home for that stuff but then I was like but I need to get ready because I need to take pictures today and then I was like but I can't get ready because there's stuff everywhere so I'm literally just going in circles trying to get stuff done my room is a disaster I have so many clothes I literally don't know what to do with any of this stuff because I have gotten rid of an ungodly amount and I still can't even come close to fitting all of it in my drawers so I just don't know what to do and then I'm like okay well I can just start putting stuff like up here in my closet well like I don't even have boxes like I'm out of boxes I'm out of stuff like I literally have no place to put anything in my room. So I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just gonna be going crazy for the next few hours. I have a really long to-do list for the next couple of days. Um, I think I'm gonna dedicate today to all non-school related things because everything around me is such a mess and disaster that I can't get anything done and it's driving me nuts. So I need to clean stuff. I need to like rearrange my room and figure out where things are gonna go. Otherwise, I literally think I'm gonna go crazy. So yeah, anywho. I'll let you I'll keep you guys posted throughout the day. All right, my bed is finally made. I have the weirdest assortment of pillowcases right now, like so many shades of gray and white, but for now my bed is all made. I am planning on taking all of these down and putting up my gallery wall from school up and just getting rid of like some of my like kitty decor and stuff and then just completely redoing this but not right now. For now my bed is made, my floor is still dirty but for the most part things are finally in order. We're taking a quick intermission on cleaning and rearranging stuff and I'm with Madison. Hello beauty. Um, the two of us are back guys if you missed us taking pictures together don't worry she's back oh and em gosh. she's employed for the next five months by yours truly I'm not employed. So, <laughs> so I'm in my first dress we are about to shoot two prom dresses for Lulu's and then three outfits for Express just because I have deadlines for Express at the end of the month and this Lulu's post is gonna go up on Friday so that is the plan we are headed out and then when I get back home I will resume cleaning okay just a little peek at Kentland's mansion that's where we're shooting today we shot two prom dresses and now we're kind of in like a different there's a bunch of like different buildings here it's kind of just like I, I don't know we shot one prom dress over there we shot a couple over here and now we're looking just for we shot one right there now Madison is determining where I should take my last outfit Sometimes I take blog posts with all three outfits in the same place. Other times I do them all in different locations. I prefer to do them all in different locations because it makes um, my feed for Instagram a little bit easier because then I have more content. I don't like to post with the same background obviously all the time. So, okay, behind the scenes. We're at the um, Michael Watkins Architect Building and we kind of like the black, so here we go. All right, just finished up all these outfits. Thank you, Madison. And now we are driving home. Literally everyone is outside right now. Everyone's breaking their quarantine. Well, it's safe to go outside. That's why we're still taking pictures. I did want to mention that. That's like why I'm continuing taking pictures because we're not going in a public place. Like it's just Madison and I and we're standing outside in front of a building or in front of a tree or a bush, like something like that. So it's not like we are making human contact really with anyone. Um, but there are lots and lots and lots of people outside walking and like doing stuff like that. So no, we shouldn't. All right friends, I got home from shooting at about 3.30 and it is now six o'clock on the dot. I have cleaned and put away everything. I'm gonna give you like a baby room tour. A lot of people keep asking me for a room tour. I 
kind of did one during vlogmas if you want to know like where everything is in specific but basically just made my room look a little bit more sophisticated a lot of my stuff was super kitty and just really cluttered and i wanted to get rid of a bunch of it also i have so many clothes so i needed to move that stuff around my clothes are like scattered throughout the house a lot you will see but um honestly this is just how it's going to have to be for the next few months until i move back to school and i have a split closet again but having it all in one place is so overwhelming i have an ungodly amount of clothes and i'm so grateful obviously um through blogging and stuff that i'm able to have such large options but holy cow is it like overwhelming to just have so much stuff so anywho here is my progress for the day this is my room ready dun 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 i have a really tiny room for those of you who have never seen my room um but this is it, what it looks like right when you walk in the door so my first order of business was my dresser and I typically had like two really tall ones of these and I put them all down to five drawers. So I have my makeup in these. I have primer, foundation, more face stuff, blush, contour, highlight, eyeshadow. Remember when makeup tours were a thing? makeup collections um then i have a bunch of lip stuff I keep all my palettes here more lip stuff more lip stuff um eyelashes and then in here i have a bunch of hair clips and like fun stuff like that here i have hair ties um and then in here i have all my apple watch stuff and then in these two drawers i have scrunchies then over here I just have a couple of like random products that I don't like to keep in the bathroom because I use them in my room. I have deodorant and then these little star like scar things are some of the best um, things for reducing redness and darkness um, for scars and dark spots. So I have those and, and this is just a bunch of random stuff like command hooks and stuff because they needed a place to go for now. Um, I'm not in love with this setup because I feel like it's kind of cluttered and I like things symmetrical, but honestly, it was the easiest way to keep my stuff. It used to all be like in random plates and this looks so much better than it did before. I have my brushes up here and then I got this for Christmas and I've yet to use them because I use my falsies literally like eight times before I throw them away. So I haven't even touched them yet. This top like keeps riding up. It's really driving me nuts. Um... Anywho, over here I have my watches and my necklaces. One pair of glasses. The glasses are the only thing that don't have a home in my room right now. It's because my glasses are in my um, nine drawers, my Alex nine drawers, and those are in the car still. It's the only thing I haven't unpacked. Honestly, the glasses are the only thing in the nine drawers that I will probably find a home for in this room. The rest of it I'll just probably leave there until I go back to school in the summer. But the one thing that I did differently was with my earrings. I just have this clear acrylic tray. I have gold earrings, mixed earrings, and then these are all my colorful pairs. I hate keeping my earrings like this, but I couldn't keep them in like the hanging thing. I couldn't find a place to hang the hanging thing that I keep my earrings in at school. So this is how it's going to be. I have my bracelets up here, and then this is the only like tchotchke and it's not a tchotchke i'll explain what it is in a second but it's like the only piece of decor really that's out in my room right now and this is was a gift from my uncle my aunt calf passed away a couple of years ago and he got her ashes like that's what that white stuff is in the middle of the blue um and this was a gift, so I keep that there, and then I just have two lotions because they have to stay there. My lamp, I don't like, but you know what? It has to be in here. It's the only bit of pink left. I also hate having my umbrella light in here, but I need it, so. Anywho, my gallery wall, I finally took it down and put up a new one. Basically, my paintings were looking super childish, and I knew that I wanted to hang up the ones that were in my dorm room in here because I just think it looks a lot more sophisticated. I think it looks super cute. Um, the only thing is that, I'll explain in a second, I guess, about where everything was. My plan for when I go to school in August is to get new pictures and leave these ones here. So, I have a map full, um, for my hometown, Damascus, Maryland, and then... So I tried to do the exact same thing I had at school, however, there were three pi pictures hanging up here before, and those three pictures were basically like they were nailed into the wall so 
there would be a bunch of holes in the wall if I didn't have paintings here. So I decided to put these pictures up and these pictures were where this size picture was in my room at school. So the gallery wall looked like this at school just with those larger photos where these medium sized photos are if that makes sense. Um, luckily we had these two from our bathroom so I just grabbed them and put them up on this wall. I know they're kind of silly to have hanging like let's get naked and the girl on the toilet in my room but I don't know. I figured it looked better than having no space and I really wanted pictures on both walls because I thought it looked really empty without it. So both walls, all of these pictures are from Desenio and I love them. I worked with them a while ago. The other thing I did was I finally cleared off my nightstand. All my pictures of Connor and his brother and my family and stuff. I just got rid of them just because it looked, they were just like on like a kitty thing and I was like, you know what, I just don't want them there anymore. So I took everything off. All I have there is my Bible, my journal, and my Alexa. And then I have my bed. My, um... Comforters from Dormco. It's so comfy. I told you this morning that I have a bunch of random pillows on my bed right now And everything is like a different color. It feels like I need a new bed skirt so badly. So don't look at that um, But anywho my purses are like overflowing of course and basically oh I used to have a This is not how this wall is gonna stay. I'm actually there's a bunch of hats There's like five hats right there, and they're all hanging on one nail I'm gonna put up a bunch of command hooks and have all my hats there. Um, I used to have a what are those things bulletin board hanging there and I just it was like so childish I didn't want it anymore so I took that down I do plan on scattering the hats however I just am sick of hanging stuff up right now so I'm not going to do that my bookshelf obviously no longer has books on it it has had shoes on it for quite some time it used to only have one row and over the years it has completely taken over honestly these magazines I am thinking about getting rid of however I love having them here this is every 17 magazine from 2013 on so my summer heels and stuff are in here and then finally got my closet kind of under control so this is so different for me I haven't had my closet like this in ages all my dresses and jumpsuits are back here and then I have skirts hanging for the first time in probably like five years and it's just because skirts are more in season so up here I have like joggers and like pants that I don't want to get rid of because I'll wear at school but won't wear here like party pants if that makes sense and then I have more of those in here and shorts because I couldn't fit shorts in my dresser right now so I have that and then I have tops over here another thing I haven't done in a while um, I basically just only have like nicer tops in here no sweaters in my thing right now I'll show you why later um, my shoes are an absolute disaster they're basically just scattered about wherever I could fit a pair I have so many shoes here and I honestly got rid of probably 30 pairs so that's that um, the rest of my tops are here I decided to make like a bodysuit drawer here if you guys watch my vlogs you know the bodysuit drawer Picasso from school there's so many different tops in here and these are just like really little tops like tube tops that are like this big and it's like why am I using a hanger and taking up space for something that small so that's why those are in that drawer now so moving on into the guest room which is looking much better as you can see nothing on the bed however over here is a disaster but not really a disaster these are basically just boxes of folded clothes these are all things that I am going to be putting in my next sale I can't put them downstairs in the basement where I would typically let clothes hold because all my college stuff is there so here they will sit until I'm able to have a sale. I was supposed to have a sale this week, but because of the coronavirus, I don't want a bunch of people in my house. So tons of stuff in here. I try to sell my stuff on Instagram, but honestly, I just get so annoyed with it that I basically just have a sale. So then over here is my clothing rack. These are all new items right here and items that are just waiting for me to be worn. I have a lot on my clothing rack right now. It's really full, but as you can tell, every other piece of everything I have is full. In our guest um, bedroom closet, I have all my sweaters. If my mom is watching this, um, cover your ears because she will kill me. She hates this, which I hate it too. But honestly, guys, I just have so many sweaters and I have no place to put them. And I probably have 70 sweaters sitting in that box to get rid of. That's just how many clothes I get that it's like, you know... I, have, I can't get rid of everything, so I kept, obviously, just, it's basically one half of a closet. The rest of this closet is, like, everyone else's coat closet and stuff, so that's that. And that's this room, and let's walk downstairs and see what's down there. 
I also went ahead and organized underneath our sink. I know it doesn't look crazy organized, but everything's in clear containers, whereas before, literally everything was just shoved in here. I have all face masks in this bin, and then in this bin, I have all hair stuff. And this bin is like self-tanning here, face stuff here, random stuff here. And then back there, I have a bunch of like sheet masks and stuff like that. And then we keep our hot tools like in this little basket, so. Finally, at least everything is in a place that I know. So all my college stuff is in the corner right now, but this is one thing I was not expecting to do, but it happened. And don't ignore that Christmas tree. It stays up all year long because Madison loves it. But this is basically a like backdrop from Dormco and I have only half of it set up because it had all my coats on this and it basically like kept falling over because these are way too heavy for it. It's not meant to hold clothes it's meant to hold one singular sheet so I don't know how long this is gonna stay up because I can see it like kind of caving in but what's ironic about all these coats is that I literally owned one jacket before going to school I never wore jackets in high school I literally refused to wear one and these are all the coats that I've been sent and acquired over the last couple of months it's honestly ridiculous but I have all my coats down here mostly because well, I can't fit them anywhere else, A, and B, it's not coat season really anymore. It's like 50, 60 degrees. In fact, tomorrow it's going to be 80 degrees here. Um, and so them being in the basement is obviously a place where I don't, like, I'm not going to walk down every time I need to get a jacket. So that's why they're down here because I will stop wearing coats pretty soon. So all together, but there they are. It's actually really, really pleasing just to look at, but my dorm co futon is also right there kind of covering up some of it. So that's that. It feels so good. The only thing I haven't done basically is fix my desk. I don't really sit at my desk that often. Um, and everything that was at my desk here, I like packed up to go to school obviously and now it's sitting in a box from school to be unpacked here i don't sit at my desk a ton but i do do my planner each week so this is probably a battle for another day honestly i'm just so pooped from moving stuff around and just like it's driving me nuts i hate i feel like my life is an endless cycle of moving clothes from one spot to the next so i'm sick of doing that so for now that is going to be a wrap for cleaning it is now dinner time and it's our mom's birthday so we just ordered takeout because you know we can't eat out anywhere because of the coronavirus so we're gonna be doing a little makeshift birthday action tonight what's in the oven my tater tots oh. no, eating no, takeout i got online. buffalo chicken tenders right, and I onion rings everyone else's looks so good too mom what are you eating a shrimp that. She's in shrimp sandwich. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday, birthday dear mom. mom. <laughs> Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Thank you. 41 never looked so good. <laughs> Brady friends ate ice cream cake for my mom's birthday and just kind of sat around and chatted as a family. Madison's boyfriend Colton just came over. That's the first time I've seen him since Christmas. So we just talked for a little bit. And now I am back upstairs. I didn't realize I didn't show you what I was wearing today. This cute little baby doll lettuce hem tee is from Shein. I have it on backwards right now. Um, not on purpose, obviously, but just in case you're wondering, this cute little ring bell is from Shein. These are like super trendy this spring, so it looks super cute. My new jeans are from Express, just the cropped flares, and then I had on gold heels with this and gold hoops, but I took them both off just because my ears have been bothering me lately because I've been wearing clip-ons so much, but... Anywho, that's that. It is 9.45 p.m. I am thinking about calling it quits tonight. I want to paint my nails because I just picked off all my gel polish because one of my nails went bad. And every time I pick it off, I'm like, why did I do that? But I can't help it. It like bothers me to only have one nail off, I guess. I love my new room. Not new, but you know what I mean. Um, anywho, so I'm going to take a shower, paint my nails, and then head to bed because I actually have class tomorrow morning at 11. I have to tune into my communications class. I missed Tuesday because we were moving out, but it's time for me to, you know, 
wind down and wake up I'm gonna actually like try to wake up kind of early and get dressed put makeup on like start the day as if it's a normal school day and like kind of get into an actual school routine I know it's kind of silly to do it on Thursday because I have spring break next week but now that my space is clean and I just like have moved out and I feel like my life is finally in one place for the next five months like for sure I feel like I can like actually get stuff done now so that's the plan I will catch you guys in the morning good morning everyone it is Thursday morning I have class at 11 it's 10 02 I woke up at like 8 45 and the first thing I did was place a new Shein order I just finished up my collab with them yesterday I uploaded the Shein post as you guys know um, which meant that it was time for me to choose new items so I chose those for my next round of collaboration and sent those in and then I just got ready I'm just leaving my hair like this my curls like kind of fell out yesterday and my hair is like really kind of dry and frizzy here but I'm just leaving it because it is I'm not going anywhere and it's like really 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 dreary out so I doubt I will be taking pictures today it is supposed to be like 73 but it's like really thick fog out and really damp outside so I doubt I'll take pictures but if I do whatever I can pop some curls in however I do like want to get in the habit of like getting up getting dressed getting ready even if I'm not going anywhere because a I will lose my mind if I don't be it makes me feel so much better and C it just like I think it helps you like get up and get your day started instead of sitting in bed all day however I am going to be sitting in bed to like do my online class and stuff just because my desk is a mess right now and honestly I just like work fine in my room here at school I don't like to work in bed that much but here it doesn't really bother me because it's not like I'm laying in bed but and here this is what I'm wearing today it's supposed to be warm outside so I decided to wear these shorts I'm like not leaving the house except to go to the Mannions because it is Thursday so I'll head over there after dinner today um but like I'm just hanging out inside so shorts is like fine but these are like really cute leathery shorts from Shein. They have fun pockets, they're paper bag. And then my belt is from Shein as well. So is my bodysuit. These earrings are from Walmart. I hardly ever wear these, but I was like, you know what? They'll match my shorts. So these cute little olive green earrings are from Walmart. I'm wearing my fossil watch. And then I have cute little black frilly socks on to stick out of my shoes which I probably won't wear today um I like don't obviously wear shoes in the house however I'll probably throw on black booties with this when I do leave later today but for now this is my cute little quarantine outfit you know um, I actually really like this. I might grab a picture in it if I can. I am trying to wear some newer pieces. My top rack is always full of clothes that have like I've finished putting them in hauls or some of them like I did style on the blog and then the rest of them are like pieces that I put in a haul but I didn't necessarily have to take pictures in so they're just like waiting for me to be worn. I picked those shorts from that top rack. Honestly it would take me like three months to get to all those clothes so obviously I won't end up wearing all of them but for now um, that's where I chose these shorts from. I'm headed downstairs because I want to make some breakfast before my class. So, and I just feel like I need to start kind of trying to eat healthier here just because, you know, I'm not going to the gym and stuff. So, what I think I'm going to be making today is I want to try and make an omelet. However, like I've never made an omelet because I really wasn't a um, omelet girl before college. Like I hated them. I was scared of them. I didn't hate them. I was scared of them. So, I think I might do that today. But we don't have anything to put in it. So, that's why... I'm kind of debating whether or not this is a good idea. Our kitchen is a mess right now, sorry. But I'm not really sure how many eggs you put in an omelet. I think, I guess three. But you know what, let's cook together, guys. It will be a fun activity for us to cook together. So I'm going to start off by cracking some eggs. I really don't want this egg to fall off the counter, so give me a second. Don't worry, I just washed my hands when I was upstairs. Been so long since I cracked an egg. Okay, I'm putting this pan on low and then I'm gonna spray it with some Pam. 
This might turn into scrambled eggs, I'm just warning you now, because like I said, I haven't made an omelet before. Um, and there's nothing for me to put in my omelet here. Like, we don't, I'm not gonna cook bacon, obviously, to, just for that. Oh my God, do we not have milk? <gasps> I don't think we have milk. That's what makes eggs good. Don't worry everyone, we had milk outside. I'm gonna add a splash of milk to my eggs to make them fluffy. Okay. In the meantime, I'm going to be getting some fruit. My mom cut up some pineapple for us the other day. So I'm gonna get some of that. Also gonna grab some blackberries. And now I'm gonna cut up some strawberries. You know me guys, I'm a little fruit cake. I'm gonna add some cheese, well a lot of cheese, who am I kidding? I love cheese. Okay, I'm now realizing that three eggs is kind of a lot. Um, the phone's ringing. I probably should have gone with two, but because this is kind of a boring omelet, because it's literally just egg and cheese, it's basically just scrambled eggs, just not broken up. I am going to put some salsa on this. I know it's kind of weird to some people, but. Nowhere. Just made myself eggs. Look at me making a good healthy breakfast. <laughs> All right, everyone, I'm gonna sit down and show this to you. You guys, this is literally online class right now. Hi, just a little update. So I brought my pillow from Dormco upstairs. This is my husband pillow and I had it at school and I loved it because I mentioned that I do work from my bed a lot just because it's a good place to work and I don't have a desk in my room. However, I don't like to lay down but my back hurts sitting against the wall so my husband is perfect because it allows me to just like sit up in bed and work. So I had my communications class and called into that. It was like 30 minutes and basically I just have to do an outline for my persuasive speech so I'm waiting to do that. Um, I am going to do it today, but I am waiting to finish that. And then she told us that our speeches are due by April 7th. We have to give a six-minute speech that is persuasive on whatever topic we chose. So I'm going to get working on that a little bit later. Then I took a nutrition exam, and the nutrition exam had two attempts. So I got a B on it the first time and 100% the second time because I took it again. So that was awesome. And then I sent a bunch of emails for a styled by. I made a to-do list for today. And now I am sitting down to get some more work done. I currently have my notes out for art history and I am making a study guide or I'm completing the study guide, making a Quizlet, and then I'm gonna take the exam for this. We have two parts to the exam, a written part and a multiple choice. I'm gonna take the multiple choice today and work on the written portion tomorrow or later because it's not due till the 30th and it's only the 19th but I feel like I can't relax until I have everything done that's how I usually feel with my online classes so typically my modules will open on Monday and I do and they're due like the following Sunday and I literally do everything on Monday and that's what's make I don't like about online school is I feel like I need to get everything done the very first day but like that's not possible because all of my classes are online so it's not like you can just choose to do a whole 
weeks worth of work in one day you know what I mean but like my body feels like it can't relax it can't do any other things I can't read a book I can't go for a walk until it's all done and like that's just not possible because I am stuck here so I don't know I kind of need to get out of that I'm like oh I have like eight companies I could shoot clothes for I need to do it all this weekend well no that's eight companies that will that you'll be able to work for for the next three weeks Mackenzie so I just kind of need to change my mindset but whatever it is 118 I'm about to crank out this study guide I just like literally need to do it my number one tip for that is just putting your phone in a different room so that's what I'm about to do and I'm about to just crank this out grind it out and get the school work done because I really want to shoot some 90 degree by reflex um, outfits later the sun is not really out but the fog cleared up a bit and it dried out so it's like nice outside now so yep finishing up my art history the exam was so hard like so much harder online than it would have been in person just because the way like art history works is like when we take an exam in person he puts up like 10 different images and you have to say like what that image is well because it's like online he can't do that so basically the entire quiz or the entire exam half of it was except questions like all of the following are correct except or what is not and I hate those kind of questions especially on the computer because on a printed exam you can like mark it up and stuff but it's so hard to like narrow down answers on the computer so um, half of it was that and then the other half of the exam was like short answers so you don't even know how you did on that um, he said that it will be graded the first week of April which kind of stinks but that's that took that I just got 100% on my quiz though so hopefully that will help and now I have to do a little art history assignment like a written assignment um we have one every week it usually takes like 15 minutes but it is 3 30 and I'm kind of going crazy I feel like I've been sitting here for hours and I want to go outside and enjoy the sunshine and warmth so I think I'm actually going to take my computer out there and say adios to my room for a little bit I just went outside and sat out there for about an hour I did my art history assignment and then I wrote a speech for my communications class I need to put it into this outline format but I'm just glad that I was able to write out the speech now I just have to put it into this and then I'll be done however I am taking a quick intermission because it is 450 and the Sun is in the perfect spot and I need to go take two outfit pictures for 90 degree by reflex these pieces actually came in the mail the other day and I just never showed you guys this is one of their blue tank tops. Well, it's one of their tank tops. It's in the color blue. I actually have this specific tank in so many different colors. One of my favorites. I wore it for cheer all the time. And then I'm just wearing some of their cute little gray cottony lounge shorts. And then I just have on white and gray little sneakers with it from Shein. And I have on one of their sports bras from 90 Degree by Reflex. It's like one of their long ones. So I'm going to take this outfit and then I'm going to take off the shirt and put on a pair of leggings and a pair of different sneakers for the second outfit. So I have my leggings and my sneakers in this little clear bag and I'm about to head to the high school and snap a few photos real quick. It's so nice outside. It's beautiful. It's 65 degrees. So perfect temperature to get this picture taken. Well, before we go, I have some mail. Let's see what I got. Uh, my first package is at home aside from the outfit I'm wearing now. I have no idea what this is going to be. Oh my god, my first Fabletics set. I'm super, super pumped to be working with Fabletics this month. Well, maybe I'll just bring this with me and take a picture in this while I'm at the high school. Oh my god, so cute. I really wanted blue because I really don't own any blue sets. And these have like pockets. Oh my god, those are adorable. So exciting. And then the sports bra looks like... this it's really cute just one of their like high neck sports bras and the back looks like this it's open and then it's got um like a little hook so you can adjust how tight kind of like an actual bra this is super super cute i'm so glad that this came now because now i can just snap a picture i'm headed to the high school which is like where i always go to shoot casual outfits um this is from bed bath and beyond i believe wow this came really fast i literally placed this order yesterday um, but I ordered my comforter and sheets for next year. I have a collaboration with them on March 30th. 
And so I needed to grab my stuff now. It looks like only the sheets and the bed skirt came, so it's kind of boring to show you. It's basically just white stuff. I'm waiting for my comforter to come and then I should be good to go, but that's my mail. Now time to actually go. For these pics, we just came to my old high school and I just shot the two 90 degree by reflex on the track and I just changed into the Fabletics. It is such a cute color. Um, I haven't tried it on yet. Like this is now the first time I'm trying it on. Super comfortable. I got extra small in both pieces and it feels like the right size. Although I haven't really got to look at myself in the mirror. Like I looked at myself in someone's like car window reflection, but that's like all I could see. So who knows what it truly looks like. I am headed down to the tennis court now for the last picture just because I don't like to shoot all my photos obviously in the same spot. Well, it turns out the tennis courts are locked, so don't know where I'm going yet. Hello, baseball field. Hello, kingdom. I guess back up there I might grab a bleacher shot. Should I go like this? vlog it's been a while um i ate dinner with my family and now i'm over at my second house because it's thursday chase hello say hi to viewers tell hello them what viewers. you're making this is my favorite so, thing to eat here i really don't know what this is called s'mores tell them tell them what you do though because you I make them s'mores. special it's ready crust from keebler but we don't usually use these ready right crust. yes yeah. really Mm -hmm. Then she puts marshmallows it, and then it, chocolate. So the sticky side is up. And then they taste right. like ooey gooey goodnesses. This is what they look like when they're done. Mighty fine. They're really messy usually. Mm -hmm. But so good. Mm. You gotta make sure you mix in the crust. Mm. Whoa. Morning everyone. I don't think I ended off the vlog yesterday. It was Thursday and I got home at like 11. I didn't get home super late and I took a shower and just went to bed. Just hung out with my Manion fam. Um, and yeah, now it is Friday morning. It is one o'clock already. I don't know how. I got up at like nine and I immediately responded to emails and I got my blog post up for the day. I am still cranking out prom content for the sake of high schoolers. I really hope they don't have to cancel it, but I did a collaboration with Lulu's. I wore Lulu's dress my junior year to prom, so I was really excited about today's post. I included a couple of pictures from that and then shared the two dresses, this gorgeous purple one and then I had a pink princess style ball gown with amazing pockets in it so just uploaded that this morning and then I took a shower because I really needed to wash my hair and I tanned last night so I needed to like wash that all off and then I did my makeup and got ready um my sister and I are going to head out and take a couple of photos we've really been on our photo grinds lately as of right now I have enough content for next Monday Wednesday and the following Monday however I don't have prom content for Friday so we're gonna head out now and I'm going to shoot two dresses from Shein the first I have on right now I love this dress I think this would be such a gorgeous dress for formal if you're in a sorority or a wedding guest dress or just like anything like that it's not like super promy it's more casual than that however I think it would be really cute for prom too um, so I'm gonna shoot this dress that I have on now and then this really pretty lilac purple one these two dresses were in my last Shein haul and then I'm going to shoot one Tarani Couture gown that I actually wore to my red dress gala. I haven't returned it yet, so I think I'm going to Tarani dresses they send and then I have to give them back once I'm done with them. But I never took pictures in it. I only like shared it with you guys here and then like took some pictures with my friends at the event. So I was like, you know what? I think I'm going to dedicate a prom post to them. I love my Tarani fam. So that is what I'm going to do. We're going to shoot those three dresses. Hopefully we're going to like a church is what I want to do because I don't want to go super far for these pictures. It is beautiful outside today. Like it's 75 degrees, but it is like kind of raining. Like it's like drizzling here and there. So I think I'm going to head downstairs and like fold some clothes and hope that this rain-ish passes. All right, everybody. I am in 
the last dress from today. This was the dress I wore to my sorority Alpha Fee's Red Dress Gal. If you guys remember, this is from Tarani Couture. It's beautiful. Um, with the help of this beauty, Madison just helped me. Thank you so much, Madison. Yeah. This is Madison's last batch of photos for a while. Wow. Um, Couple days. A couple days. Well, I'm telling her a while because actually doing this really, really helps me out because now I am able to just like chill out. I have a whole week's worth of content shot plus a couple more days. Honestly, if I had shot one more round of photos today, I would have had two weeks worth of content done. But Madison didn't want to shoot any more today, so that is that. Yeah, um, well, it would have. If we had shot those five sugar lips, we would have been done for two weeks. Um, so anyways, now we are leaving. We shot at a church in Mount Airy. What is the name of this church? Um, I think it's a Methodist church, actually. It is. It is. I don't know what it is, Calvary but... United. Calvary United. That's what it looks like. Alrighty, everyone. Just got home and downloaded the pictures that Madison and I just finished taking. I'm about to eject this memory card. And I also got some fruit. I got some strawberries, blackberries, and pineapple. And now I, I changed into my bathing suit. And I'm about to head outside because it's 78 degrees out. And the UV is going back and forth between five and six. So I'm about to come outside and do some schoolwork out here. Honestly, I don't really have to get this schoolwork done now because it's not due for another two weeks, but I'm gonna sit outside and get it done and just enjoy some fresh air. Okay, I'm out of my bathing suit and in my dress for the day. I have it belted with a cute little Shein belt because I'm on my Western kick. And I am eating a little, what are these blue, blue bunny? Blue Bunny ice cream cone. This is the chocolate mint. And I just grabbed this book. This is the one Miss Manion gave me the other day. It's Nicholas Sparks, The Rescue. And I'm about to sit down and read a little bit. I mostly changed out my bathing suit because the UV is two now. So there's no point in staying in it. Um, but I'm just gonna do some leisurely reading. I did some schoolwork and now I'm like, you know what? I just don't wanna do schoolwork. So it's 4.25. I'm gonna eat this, enjoy my snack, and read a little bit. Decided to get a head start on my entrepreneurship for two weeks from now, actually. And I just took some notes while I watched the latest episode of The Bolt Type. This module 10 is on legal form, so just some notes taken from the PowerPoint for this class. And now I'm wrapping this up, calling it quits on homework today. I also just wrote out one of three essays for my art history class. We have to do three different ones and then our essay portion of our exam will be one of the three so i just did one of them i have to do the other two at some point between now and the 30th so hello everyone it's much later i had mac and cheese for dinner and then i ate ice cream cake from the other night and now i've just been chilling here it is 9 15. i feel like the days go by so slow and yet I'm like, oh my god, the day's over and I haven't even done anything and then I feel guilty. I guess I still did stuff today. I got blog work done. I got a blog post up, shot some pictures, you know, did some schoolwork. So it wasn't a total bust of a day. Um, I've been sitting here watching The Ranch, which is not really the show I want to be binge watching, but... It's giving me something to watch while I try to find something I actually want to spend time on, if that makes sense. Because I, it takes me a long time to commit to a TV show, but I want to share my little like dress and belt with you. Well, it's all messed up because I've just been laying down, but I just think this is the cutest little combo. Just a little cute black t-shirt dress with this belt. I obviously didn't leave the house, but for the sake of my outfit of the day picture, I'm going to put on some boots, my black Shein boots with the silver buckle and my cowgirl hat, take my outfit picture, and then I'm going to shower and put on pajamas and pretend that I did something super interesting today, but that is quarantine life, everybody. I'm sorry, but can we just take a moment for this look? Look at my cute little cowgirl hat. I wish Lauren hadn't lost the silver part that went around it, but you know how it is. But with the cute little silver boots, silver buckle boots guys someone take me to a freaking rodeo because i would just look so darn cute at it morning everyone it is saturday morning it's 11 30 i slept until 10 and then hung out in bed for like an hour because i was like you know what there's honestly nothing else to do so what's the difference if i sit in bed that long i just got up and dressed though for the day honestly lately i've been like in the mood to like put something cute on instead of wearing joggers and I kind of get in those moods sometimes when I come home, so I was like, you know what, I'm going to take advantage and like, even if I'm not going anywhere, like, oh, 
if I wait until this corona thing is over to wear the new clothes that I have, like, it will be time for summer and I won't be able to wear all the things. So, like, I'm gonna just keep getting dressed as long as I have the motivation to do so, I guess. Um, I actually self-tanned my face last night and that's, like, my way to, like, be confident in my own skin, like, without makeup. I know that sounds silly, but I, because I wear makeup every day, I get, like, in a routine where I'm like, oh my god, I can't not wear makeup, but self-tanning my face with the Tanologist face drops always, like, makes me feel a little bit better. I think everyone feels better with a little bit of a tan, so I self-tanned my face last night, and then I put on, I just did my eyebrows, which are honestly looking atrocious because I ran out of my usual eyebrow stuff, which was the Maybelline, like, dip brow, and now I'm using pencil because I just haven't had a chance to go to the store and get a new one so my brows are penciled in then I have on some mascara and I put on the Laneige sleeping lip mask but that's all the makeup I'm wearing today it kind of feels like refreshing to just not have so much makeup on I guess I've been wearing lashes and stuff like pretty much every day just because I've been shooting but I'm taking it easy today my curls like fell out a bunch yesterday but I just put some beach babe um texturizing spray from not your mother's in anyways guys I had a self tanning fail yesterday look at my pinky like I forgot to wash my pinky I guess and this part of my hand so don't look at my hands but anywho this is what I'm wearing today I like can't figure out a good way to share my outfits with you guys like I used to always share them in the mirror but like I don't really know if I like that anymore because you can't really see so maybe I'll just put it right here I guess then it's kind of low who knows um I'm wearing today's new piece that I wanted to wear it was this acid wash tee from boohoo I just got it I really like the fit of it it's like super boxy and just you know just like a t-shirt I don't really wear t-shirts that often I've got on a ring belt from Shein my hoops from Shein my Apple watch and then I just have on some black ripped skinny jeans from Express I don't have shoes on yet because I doubt I'll leave the house but for my the sake of my outfit picture I'll probably throw on white chunky sneakers with this haven't decided yet but that's what I'm wearing today. I'm actually, like, I'm torn between wanting to get ahead and just, like, letting myself relax. I'm really bad at letting myself relax, you guys know. Um, so I think I'm gonna, like, bring my stuff downstairs. My number one thing that I want to do today is get my desk in order because I just, like, have, that's, like, the one thing I haven't unpacked or, like, redone, basically, is my desk. And I want to sit down and look at my planner and just, like, kind of see like look at the next few weeks and how my online school is gonna go so that's like my plan is just I really want to write down some new deadlines a lot of my professors have sent out like new revised syllabi so I kind of like just want to sit down and see what these next four or five weeks are gonna look like like I said my spring break is pretty much right now through next Sunday so I'm like kind of wanting to just like take it easy but we'll see I also want to start editing this video so I can get it up that's my only other task today um, we'll see where the day takes us but for right now I think I'm gonna go downstairs and eat something so I've currently got my little desk set up happening downstairs I have this black desk from Ikea I've had this forever and it's just in our basement um, this was for part of my graduation party and it's just a bunch of pictures I still have it left up and then I put all the things that were on my desk at school pretty much on this desk so I have a cup of pencils this is from TJ Maxx um, just a a little tape dispenser my stapler is from Target and then I have a thing full of washi tape I have so much washi tape it's ridiculous and then this is from TJ Maxx as well the little eyelashes and this is where all my stickers are and I basically just did my planner for the next like couple of weeks I just was basically looking and sitting down I haven't used my planner at all this week so I just sat down to like write some things down that I want to get done today and tomorrow um, so today I just want to edit this vlog like I said and then I do want to finish up one assignment for art history Sunday I am going to be uploading my weekly wrap up in my week in my life and then I want to write Monday's blog post and do an assignment for tech that way next week I don't have to do a ton um it's Connor's birthday next Monday and I basically just wrote down all the blog posts I want to get up so I'm going to be posting on Monday Wednesday Friday and Sunday as per usual and then I am uploading a Shein bikini haul on Tuesday 
and I do believe on Thursday I'll be posting with Fabletics on Instagram and then I kind of just tried to write out a schedule for Monday I do want to try to wake up and head to my high school and like walk on the track and get like some kind of workout in I don't know I kind of just been playing around there's also a couple of other things I want to get done on Monday and just really make sure that I start structuring my time a little bit better and not acting like this is like five weeks of summer just yet like I want to really push through my last day for everything is May 1st so a little over one month and then I will be done for good freshman year will be over I'm kind of hungry so I'm gonna make a smoothie um, in the blender you know obviously I usually have one every day at school so we're gonna give this a go I'm starting off with some pineapple chunks frozen pineapple chunks and then I'm gonna take some frozen raspberries however the main goal of this smoothie is to actually get rid of some strawberries because these are going bad so quickly so and I don't want them to go to complete waste so I'm putting them cutting them up and putting them in my smoothie this lighting is so bad I'm sorry so typically when I would make a smoothie at home I would put yogurt in it but at school they don't put yogurt in it but today I'm gonna put some in it this is the Chobani Greek yogurt non-fat plain I don't know, my mom just picked this up. I don't really have a preference in yogurt. I don't really eat yogurt unless it's in a smoothie. Um, I used to eat it every single day, and because I ate it for so many years, for so long, I like can't really stand it now, so. Yeah, and then I'm gonna put some orange juice in this. Orange juice is my base of choice. Hopefully that's enough. It looks like a lot. I made a lot apparently I this is like two smoothies worth so I guess I'll pour one for my mom okay let's see if it's any good it's really pink it's a cute color man that's good I'm a chef guys quarantine's making me a chef <laughs> Okay, my least favorite part about making smoothies and why I don't do it more at home is because I hate cleaning up. Like, I hate taking apart the blender. I wish we had, like, a Nutribullet or something, but I'm gonna drink this and bring this one to my mom. It made a lot. I wish we had more yogurt now because I would make one of these, like, every day. Just laying in bed, being told by my Apple Watch that it's time to stand. I am watching The Ranch right now, which honestly, I don't even want to watch. But I just can't find a show that I want to commit to. So if anyone has any ideas for shows, leave them below. Um, Sam told me to watch The Ranch while we were at school. And I did not listen to him because, well, okay, I tried to listen to him. And I watched, like, the first episode. And I was like, this is so stupid. And he was like, you need to give it a chance, and I didn't. And mostly because I hate when TV shows tell me when to laugh. Like, I hate when they have automated laughing in it. Like, it bothers me so much. Um, so I didn't watch it, but then I, like, came home and needed something to watch, like, and just put on while I mindlessly scroll through my phone for the 800th hour, um, today. So I've been watching that, and it's gotten better. Like, I find myself actually laughing at it, but, like, there's still a lot of moments where I'm like, this isn't funny. I wish it wasn't telling me to laugh, but watching that, and I also just edited a good chunk of this vlog. Like, this is gonna be a really long video, so if you're still around, thanks for watching, but it is currently 541, and I'm just hanging out here still <laughs> I can smell that it's dinner time down here time. let's see what we got mmm delicious looks so yummy smells even better Oh, it's burnt on the bottom. Well, that's because your sister forgot how to cook. I forgot how to she cook. She forgot how to cook rice. Yeah. 
Yeah. It's okay, Madison. Mom asked me to switch it from one burner to the other, and I switched it from low to high. <laughs> Oops, it's okay. We appreciate your hard work. Today, everyone, we are having beef in the crock pot. Don't even know what this is called, what's in it. Just know it's mighty fine. Look at that baby steaming. Just so you know, since we can't leave our house probably this whole summer, it is acceptable for you to eat ice cream every single day. Um, not sure it will yield the bikini body you want, but before I went to college, I ate ice cream every single day, and I was in, I looked better than I do now, so. And in college, I didn't eat ice cream, so I feel like that's saying something. Alright, everyone, I think I'm actually going to call this a vlog quits here. It is 9 o'clock, and I just really want to get this edited and processing overnight. That way, I don't have to deal with it in the morning, and so that's going to be a wrap. Make sure you're subscribed, because I do believe this is going to be my last college week in my life for a while. Um, I think I'm going to switch to daily slash every few day vlogs in the next week or so. So make sure you subscribe so you figure out what I end up doing. I'm not 100% sure yet, but you shall see. Hope you guys enjoyed. I know this was a long one, but thanks for sticking it out. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Peace out, Girl Scouts.